Aquarius, this is your career reading for the month of November. I hope you're doing great. This is like one of my favorite months because this is 11. 11 is a master number and this is about higher spiritual plane, okay? This is about being things being brought to your attention from spirit, miracles and all that good stuff. Okay, um, because last month was the 10, things were coming to an end. You were coming into your new cycle, and 11 is about it coming into fruition. I love it. Okay, or things being revealed to you. That's what I should say. Okay, so let's see what your career and money is saying to me. You had four cards fall out just now. I'm going to let them all fall out. Okay, you have writing. You heal, inspire, teach, and entertain with the words you write. You have trust. Trust your feelings and dreams to guide your career path. You have school. Answers that you're seeking involves going to school. You also have animals. You understand animals, communicate with them intuitively, trust your inner guidance, and the animals, animals are a part of your work's life. Okay, for some of you, you are taking animals to schools to teach children about um, animals, okay? Some of you are becoming a teacher and teaching others, okay, about things. Um, but you have to trust yourself in your path. That's all, that's for all of you. You have to trust yourself, okay? Um, I feel like some of you may want to write a book. Okay, um, some of you, I, I just feel like you're learning and you have to trust what it is that spirit is guiding you into. Okay, um, and it may involve teaching others, teaching others about things, about people, about children, animals. Um, Interesting, because there's a lot of cards here, and I'm getting a lot of things. But you're definitely being guided to do something. Some of you may have found a book, and this book intrigued something in you, and you're like, I can never do this, or it takes a lot of schooling, or something like that. But you have to trust in spirit to balance you, okay? All right, it may have something to do with zoology, creative writing. I'm hearing that someone wants to write a children's book. Kind of like Winnie the Pooh, but not like Winnie the Pooh, because Winnie the Pooh was taken, <laughs> okay? So let's see what Spirit has in the intuitive cards. Yep, 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 yep. Two major arcana cards, okay? The Nine of Cups is telling me that you have to be secure in yourself, for sure. Um, there's good things happening for you. I do feel like you found a book or found something in an attic. Um, found something when you were cleaning up a parent's house or someone that passed away um, even at a thrift store and it was like in something okay um, and I feel like it just opened you up to something or intrigued you it's like magical to you yeah that's what I was saying before. I, I really, in this card, just confirmed it for me. I don't know who that's for, but that's for somebody, okay? The devil card, be careful about other people telling you you can't do something, okay? Um, being distracted, feeling like you need to go down a certain path or something that you have been doing. For some of you, you were in school already and something intrigued you and you wanna change majors or something go ahead and do that okay it's okay for you to do that it's okay for you to change your mind that's for some people it's also just about following your dreams stop don't think that you can't do it don't think that you're bonded to a certain situation or you don't have enough money you can do anything if you put your mind to it solitude that's for some of you going to school studying hard 
fulfilling. Um, like this is something that you want to focus on stepping away from something so you can do that. Okay. This is all about analyzing how it is that you're going to go into these, this thing that you found that you love. Okay. How can I get there? What do I need to do? Okay. This is you researching, Googling, reading other books, going to the library, things like that. I just feel like you're trying to figure out how you can do this, how you can go about it, how it will serve you. You know what I mean? Just trying to get some additional knowledge. Okay. Interesting. But that's, that's like you Aquarius, you, you know, y'all are outside of the box. You know what I mean? And you're not going to do anything that anyone else is going to do. And every, every time I get into it, it feels about your readings. I'm like, this makes no sense, but it, it does because you always tell me, Oh, that makes sense. Or that resonates with me. So I know that it does. <laughs> okay. So let's see what the car has for you Aquarius for your November career and money situation. coming up okay like I said I feel like you were steady on a path okay you were being patient for some of you you were being patient in something because it was steady because it was working for you um, you were getting paid there you know you were just doing the nine to five thing even though it wasn't your thing okay that's what I'm feeling from that okay it wasn't really your thing but you were doing it because it was stable and you you know you felt independent or you needed to pay your bills pretty much okay so you were being patient trying to find a balance between um, you know like who you are and real life that's what I'm hearing okay so I just wanted to get that out because that's what I saw when I was pulling out the cards okay I don't, I'm just, it was so many. I'm just going to like shuffle them to the side on the bottom of the deck. You have the two of cups. Beautiful. So this could be a partner supporting you. Okay. Going along your path or trying something new. This could also be you coming to grips with what it is that you really want to do coming in harmony with yourself. You know what I mean? I also get that from the two of cups. It doesn't necessarily have to be with love, the world, the world. That tells me that you're putting an ending to something. I feel like something comes into your life and strikes you and you're like, listen, I got to do this. You know what I mean? Like I have to liberate myself from this stupid nine to five situation or what it is that I think I should be doing and do exactly what it is. Exactly. So you're thinking about leaving something behind. Okay. Or it's that you just don't have faith because there's something that makes you happy. That wish come true. That's that nine of cups coming out again. Okay. So it's like a wish come true, a dream come true, something that you just would love to do, but you feel like it's so far away. You can't support yourself. You don't have enough money. You don't feel like you can really do it or there'll be hard work, but you want to put an end to that and focus on what it is that you really, really want to do. In the center, you have the queen of swords. Look at you. That that's you. That's you shifting through that energy. Should I do it? Can I do it? What if I do this? What if I cut this off? Will I have enough money to do this? That's what you're doing. Okay. You're perceiving the situation, figuring out what's better. You want to be free. You want to do what it is that you want to do. Okay. You want to have faith. You want to have these things, but you also want to be stable. You also want to be independent and prosperous. So that is also something that is on your mind. Again, like I said, this is something coming into your life. Someone is presenting something to you, something that you found, something that is intriguing, that that love in you, that imagination, that spark of emotion. You know what I mean? Like it's like it's getting you back to your instincts, okay? But like I said, you're worried. You're worried about being stable. Worried about being able to support yourself while you go about doing these, this or these things. And this is you again, the hermit comes out again. This is you focusing on how to work it out. And I feel like you will. That's one thing I can say about you Aquarius is okay. You can make a way out of no way. So I have no doubt whatsoever that you can do it. Okay. It may not be conventional to other people's thoughts, which is what this is. Okay. It may not be conventional to what people think, but you are going to get it done. Okay. Like the seven of swords, do not be your own worst enemy. 
okay i feel like this is you trying to hold on to your thoughts or hold on to what you had okay and run away from this <sighs> like it's like not wanting to make a decision okay it's like you don't want to make this decision but you're running away to try to try to fight it okay but I feel like you want to this is one thing that I can say about this because the king of swords comes up and this is you being clear thinking about the truth and I hope and pray I really really do that this is you focusing on getting rid of the fear and the delusion okay that you can't do it being deceptive being deceptive to yourself or other people being deceptive to you about what you cannot do you can do anything you want to okay you are clear thinking you have the authority you definitely have the intellectual power okay to get it done and i just feel like you can do it okay because this knight of cups comes in definitely it changes your mundane situation into something magical and sparkly that's what i see to me when i look at this car right now because spirit sometimes shows me things that chalice is sparkling that's what i saw when i look at that car which is why i said sparkling okay so i think i just i feel that I don't know I'm very passionate about it and I feel like that's how you're gonna feel like you're gonna be like oh my god I have to do this you know <laughs> and that's good for you okay so I'm gonna end that there if you would like the extended version of this reading um, please click on the link below for the membership area um, if you would like a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. That link is in the description box below. Um, if you would like to donate, that is also down there. If not, that's cool. I will see you next month. I love you so much. Love and love.